Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Ted Conover works as a corrections officer at the upstate New York prison Sing Sing. Sing Sing is one of the oldest and most historically difficult places in the state. It has a large campus that is in different stages of disrepair. Conover starts each day with a lot of worries because he doesn't know what his next assignment will be. Conover thinks about the path he took to become a CO. He is a journalist by trade, and he wanted to learn more about the lives of prison guards because he thought they weren't getting enough attention in the discussion about prison reform. But the Department of Corrections turned down all of Conover's requests to shadow one of their new officers in training. So Conover decided to join the training program to get the information he was looking for. Conover and the other people in his group have to go through a seven-week training course at the Albany Training Academy in order to become COs. Their commanding officers are mean to them and make them do push-ups or run laps as punishment for small things like having a piece of paper stuck on the inside of their trash cans. The training courses themselves are paramilitary in nature and cover things like how to handle weapons, how to control crowds, how to move defensively, how to deal with pain, how to deal with chemical agents, and how to handle hostage situations. Officers in charge of training often talk about how important it is to have order and control in prisons, and they often say that inmates are violent, dangerous, and animalistic by nature. After Conover and the rest of his classmates finish training, they are all sent to Sing Sing, which is always short-staffed because it has a bad name and is in an area with high costs of living. It has become in many ways a kind of training ground for new COs before they are moved to a better job. Conover is shocked by how random and unorganized Sing Sing seems compared to the strict and well-organized boot camp. On his first day of training on the job, he helps an officer who has just a little more experience than he does. He is shocked by how bad his boss is at his job. During the next few weeks, Conover has a number of different jobs at Sing Sing. He says that the culture is very violent and patriarchal and that many of the guards seem to like having power over the prisoners. But there is also a lot of fear and worry among the guards, who have heard stories and in some cases seen the terrible things that can happen when a mob gets together. But there are some exceptions, like Officer Smith, who treats everyone the same. He says that the best way to keep control is to be firm but fair, and Conover is glad to see a CO who treats his charges like people. As Conover learns more about how Sing Sing works on the inside, he talks about the different parts of the prison. The large cell blocks, a block and B block, where most of the prisoners live, are usually the most chaotic places to be. Conover says that both the prisoners and the guards are always trying to get the upper hand, and he has to wonder how much aggression and how much compassion is right. Sergeant Wickersham, his boss, is very bossy and seems to make it his mission to treat the new recruits badly as much as possible. This doesn't help his case. Conover comes to fear and dread being around Wickersham, but he also comes to respect him, especially after Wickersham helps him figure out how to report being attacked by another inmate. The special housing unit, also called, the box, is another part of the prison where the most dangerous and violent inmates live. Conover finds it a very scary and unpleasant place to be. The prison also has a psych ward, which is meant to help people with mental health problems. But Conover says that the medical staff is often rude and dismissive of patients, and they seem more interested in giving them drugs to get them to do what they want than in treating their problems. Many of the COs think that the bugs, or inmates who ask for psychiatric care, are just making up their problems to get special treatment. After a particularly violent gang fight in the prison yard, Conover is part of the team that has to prepare Hans Tusan for transfer to a different prison. Tusan was one of the main people who started the fight. Conover and the other COs don't understand what it means to be loyal to a gang, and Tusan says that his gang, the Bloods, gives him a sense of brotherhood and a reason to live. As time goes on, most of Conover's classmates are moved to other prisons where they have better jobs. Some people like Mendez, who has a nervous breakdown because of the stress of the job, end up quitting for good. Conover looks into the history of prisons in the United States and, more specifically, Sing Sing. He says that the young country was trying to figure out how to handle law and order in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. People no longer agreed with public executions and beatings, so prisons became more private and took place behind closed doors. But important people in the history of prison philosophy had very different ideas about how prisons should be run. Some people thought that a strong, authoritative hand was needed, while others thought that a more cooperative, rehabilitation-focused approach would be better. The idea that prisoners have rights didn't become a big issue until the late 20th century when lawmakers started to talk about whether or not things like beatings and the death penalty were legal. 
but as prison populations grew at the end of the 20th century because of stricter anti-drug laws, relationships between inmates and COs seem to have gotten worse, especially in Sing Sing, where there is never enough experienced staff to make sure everything runs smoothly. Now that Conover is one of the regular prison guards at Sing Sing, he has to choose a more permanent job for himself. He chooses B Block in the end, so he can work with Hattie, Mama, Cradle, who has been in charge of the B Block day shift for a long time. B Block is thought to be one of the hardest assignments, but Conover wants to see how far he can push himself and do well in his chosen position. Conover can start to get to know his fellow officers and the inmates better now that he is there more often. But the stress of the job starts to affect Conover's personal life as well. He finds himself emotionally pulling away from his own family, and he even hits one of his kids in a way that isn't like him. Even though he tries hard, he can't keep his temporary job from getting in the way of his personal life. But despite his worries, he stays committed to both his job and his anthropological mission. He goes on to publish New Jack, a book about his experiences, as a record of what he has learned. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.